Please be seated. Well, good morning. Welcome to you all. It's lovely to have this opportunity of welcoming you today. It's been a glorious week, not so good today, but here we are, lovely and warm in this church, with nothing to do for the next hour but just worship God together. So welcome to you, if you're here because you come every week. Welcome to you if you're visiting us today, if you're coming back after being married, uh, if you're here to see about a wedding, or if you're joining us through the wonders of the internet, it's good to have you with us. So let us worship God together. Jesus said, the right time has come and the kingdom of God is near. Turn away from your sins and believe the good news. The first reading this morning is from the second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verses 6 and 8, and 16 to 18. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. As for me, I am, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. At my first defence, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me from his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Thank you. The second reading is taken from Luke, chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. Thanks be to God. God bless you, we be God's word. To God be praise and glory forever. Amen. Wanted, real Christians. Wanted, men and women for challenging and demanding positions. There are urgent vacancies for all people who are offered the prospect of real life. Candidates should be able to bear mocking and scoffing, have the courage of their convictions, and be able to stand at all times for what they know to be right. The support of unlimited resources is available to all who will accept the position of being real Christians. Wanted workers. God is at work in the world and is urgently seeking partners. Those who are prepared to work with God should offer their services immediately to Him. Only the totally unqualified need apply. As this is a family concern, all applicants will not only be given the duties of servants, but the privileges of sonship. Wanted, people to pray, must be prepared to pray regularly and faithfully. These are key appointments on which the worldwide success of the work depends. These vacancies are open to all, irrespective of age or sex. The rewards are great, there are unlimited vacancies this job. Wanted. People who are prepared to love their neighbours. 
Der skal mange i job. Det er også en god lov. The responsible position requires a close apply, but first, they must be prepared to love God with all their heart, soul, and mind. Wanted to feed the hungry, to welcome the stranger, to clothe the naked, to visit the sick, to care for the prisoners. Vacancies exist for all the above positions. Wanted, the tired, the weary, the frustrated, the fearful, the defeated, the weak, the heavily laden. Total security is offered. No superannuation or insurance is offered, as it is not intended that those appointed should die. Only sinners need apply. All applicants will be successful. Wanted. Disciples to follow a man who is despised and rejected. They are promised no salary, holidays, or early retirement. They must totally commit their all into their new master's hand. Successful applicants will be expected to devote their gifts, personalities, and savings to their new employer. In return, they will be given more than they could ever imagine or dream. Wanted. Real Christians. It's a staggering picture. A community of people who explore what it means to be a real Christian. To give together to change the world. To pray together to change our community. To love together to change each and everyone's lives. So that together we take account of this most wonderful discovery that you can ever make. That not only does God love this world and everyone in it, but that God loves each and every one of us as if we were the only person in this world. It's a wonderful picture and a wonderful challenge for us as a Christian community. Let us pray. Love is not the destination. Love is the way. Love is not the answer, love is the question. Love is not the reward, love is the task. We go to live out that task in the world where God is already waiting for us. And the God who is love will remain with us forever, wherever we go and whatever happens to us. Holy Spirit, Help us in our Christian pilgrimage to hear your call and to respond to it. Help us to show our gratitude for your love in the way we share with those around us, in the way we share our faith, our time, our wealth and our enthusiasms. And hear us as we remember many who need your care today. Amen. God loves you. Go from here in peace and go from here in very great joy to serve him. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always.